Hey, what's going on guys? Crimson here and today I'm going to be talking about the Vixture 4K action camera and I'm going to be kind of doing it in a different style compared to other reviews because I'm not going to be using this as an action camera and instead I'm going to be doing something completely different. So if you guys don't have enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like on it. But anyways, guys, let's get straight into the video. So basically for this video, I'm going to be using the action cam only as a webcam because I personally don't go, you know, fishing every day, don't go swimming every day, and don't go doing crazy things every day. So for me, it's gonna be kind of a pointless thing to have this camera just laying around. So the best thing to do is put it to good use. And now the best reason to use this as a webcam is because one, it has a very, very wide angle and it isn't a fish angle. A lot of these, you know, action cameras, they can be used as a webcam, but they have a very, you know, hard fish angle at like 190 170 fov and it just looks very very distorted and i'm glad to say that with this one it doesn't look like that at all and instead it just kind of gives you a wide angle look which looks really really good whenever you're live streaming and now you might be wondering how hard is it to get the action cam to be recognized as a webcam and it's actually really really easy all you do is connect the usb cable to your computer and a micro usb into your action camera and your action camera should turn on you don't even need a battery for this i personally do not have a battery in my action camera just for safety and once the action camera turns on you just select on a pc and your computer should instantly pick it up as a webcam and that's what i do whenever i live stream on obs this camera can be used for skype Discord, OBS, whatever you want to use it for, this works perfectly fine. Now, if, in case you guys are trying to get it to work with OBS and it's not working right off the bat, just keep on hitting that deactivate and activate button because a lot of the times it's trying to recognize and still read the camera. So if you do it a few times, it might recognize it and it just shows up. Now this camera claims to be 4K, but 4K, 30 FPS, is really bad it doesn't look good at all but the 1080p 60 fps looks really really good and that's what i've been using and i think that it looks a lot better than my previous webcam i'll try to show you guys a little clip of that because this camera just feels 60 fps my other webcam was a 1080p 30 fps and it barely looked 1080p wasn't sharpened enough had a lot of like blurriness to it and this webcam is just a thousand times better and it's not even meant to be a webcam it's meant to be an action camera if you can believe that now like i did say i was going to be treating this like a webcam so it does come with a lot of accessories that i'm probably never going to use it comes with two batteries but for this video's purpose we're only using it as a webcam so i just kind of put it on top of my monitor and that's that and the only bad thing about that is that it doesn't have a screw mount at the bottom to be able to put it on a tripod so you can't unfortunately put it on a tripod which really sucks because the only way you can put it on a tripod is if you put it in the housing but if you put it in the housing that it comes with you can't connect it through usb because it's being blocked by the housing so that the action camera doesn't get water damage now for this video we used an 80 dollars action camera but you guys don't have to do the same as long as the webcam supports 1080p 60 fps and i've seen them go for around 40 to 50 dollars you guys can get yourself a really nice webcam that's kind of dull in colors but that's really good because that just means that you can go add some filters add some contrast add some saturation to it and you're going to be able to customize the webcam exactly how you like it so instead of having a camera that's super saturated or something you're going to be able to mess with it as much as you want because the colors are pretty dull right off the bat now if you were to ask me if i would recommend this to anyone else for live streaming or youtube i would definitely recommend it just because it's such a simple solution you plug it and it literally gets recognized within seconds and it's not only a webcam if you put it to use as an action camera it doesn't look quite bad so you guys can have two things for the price of one so instead of spending 50 to 60 dollars on a c920 you could be spending 40 dollars on an action camera and have yourself a decent looking action camera and a webcam that you can just plug in and put on top of your monitor and you're good to go but anyways guys hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and if you did remember to leave a like and a comment down below let me know what kind of webcam you guys are using if you guys are using a webcam and also let me know if you ever thought that using an action camera like one of these you know 30 to 40 dollar action cameras was ever doable i didn't even know about it until a few weeks ago and when i found out about it i wanted to get an action camera as soon as possible to test it out and let me just tell you that i definitely was not disappointed
if you guys have not checked out the discord the discord link is down below make sure to go check it out if you guys have any questions at all i probably respond on my discord faster than i do on my comments just because sometimes youtube doesn't send notifications out for my comments but for discord i have all the notifications turned on so if you guys have any questions about anything just go in there and talk to people and i will most likely respond to you as soon as possible anyways guys hope you guys have a great day and i will catch you guys next time peace guys